Well, that's annoying. <sighs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back to where I started. We're starting over, not uh, for any other reason than just complete accident. So I am now 15 stone again. Um, I lost all that weight, all that, at that time ran and got myself into such good shape. I was running consistently, feeling good. Obviously, I tore my calf at the start of lockdown, which then prevented me from doing anything. I then proceeded for the next like six months to just eat and drink myself back to 15 stone. Um, I've not exercised really, but the last month I have, I've been running and like I've documented and showed you, like I've been training and stuff, but I haven't lost any weight. So now I need to start getting serious because I weighed myself for the first time the other day and I am now 15 stone. And it was a real shock to me. I was not expecting to be that big. I know I'd put on weight, like I know I had like seven chins and stuff, but I wasn't expecting to be 15 stone. I was expecting to be like 14 and a half, maybe 14 stone, which still is quite big from, from my size, but I'm not expecting to be 15 and stone and bits. So we are back on the grind. We are back trying, well, I've been training and stuff, but we just need to focus in more because obviously my eating habits are horrific and I need to improve them. So I will catch you in a sec. We have to run today, we have to eat well today, and I'm going to try and document that as much as possible. I know my upload schedule is absolutely horrific, but I apologize. I promise it will get better because I need the accountability to get back down and lose this weight. So I'll see you all in a second. Right, so we're on coffee number two. Um, and the thing that what happens, especially when you're putting on weight, is that you don't see it. Like, you don't see it until it's too late. Um, and that's what happened to me. Like, you just keep eating and you think, oh, I'll run tomorrow, or I'll um, do something the next day, and then that day then turns into a week, that then turns into a month, that then turns into a lifetime, um, of you just putting stuff off and procrastinating and just saying you'll do it tomorrow. So, what happened with me is that I ended up pulling my calf, tearing it, like I said, at the beginning of lockdown. My treadmill broke, which meant I couldn't run on that either, so I had no treadmill because I snapped the deck. So I had every excuse you could ever think of not to run. I'll be back in one sec. So... So what then ends up happening is that time just starts to drift away from you. And what you don't sort of realise is that you have put on all this weight or you've got yourself unfit and you don't realise it. Because when you look at yourself, especially like, um, this is how I feel anyway, um, even when I got thin, and I think it's a bit of body dysmorphia or something, even when I lost a lot of weight and I was slimmer and I was fitter, and now I look back at the picture and I realise like how slim and how fit I actually looked. Um, you don't see it. I just still saw this fat boy, um, still saw the 15 stone Colin, didn't really see the results. Like obviously there was results there because my running was better, I could run to work at six minute mile in, everything was flowing, like there was no problems. Um, and I felt fitter, I looked fitter but I didn't feel it. So when I looked in the mirror, I still saw this fat guy and um, I just can't get that out of my head. And now, obviously because my brain is wired to see this fat guy, that now I have put on the weight and I'm back being a bit chunkier, I don't notice it. But I've noticed it now because I've stood on the scales. But if I hadn't stood on the scales, I would have ended up just kept ballooning and who knows where I would have got to because even running, which I've been doing, um, like seven minute mile in for 30 minutes, which is amazing at 15 stone. Like it was really impressive and I'm quite impressed with myself for that. Um, I just didn't see it. And I kept eating pizzas and getting Domino's and we've had takeaways and beating in crackers. And I started, I was eating at like 10, 11 at night, having sandwiches and bacon sandwiches and more crackers and cheese um, and a few more beers than normal um, and a gin every weekend if you're counting. Um, but yeah. The point is, is that you just don't see it. You do, the problem is, is that you, you want to be fit and you want to be slim, but you, or you always seem to see yourself as the person that you are like now. So if that's fat or you've got some sort of preconception of how you look, um, it's really difficult for you to not see that. And that's my point. 
I'll catch us all in a sec. I need to go do some more work. I hope that made sense because that was like three minutes around then and I went to get um, the milk out of the cupboard. So apologies for like the, the break in the middle, but um, I wasn't fully prepared. I will see you all in a second. Um, I'm just going to go to the cupboard just over there and work. Bye. Not bye, but I'll see you when we're running or so. It is time to go running. It has been a long day and uh, it's now half five. It is now pitch black outside, so I'm going to just quickly go jump on the treadmill for 30 minutes and just relax, trying to get the beer belly gone. Things are going well, feel strong. Time to watch Parks and Rec and run. I did bring this in because I was going to do a bit of spinning, uh, but I kind of forgot and the day kind of got away from me. But I've eaten quite well today. Just one sandwich, water and coffee today. So dinner will be here in a bit and I'll have that. I think it's like pasta or something. But it's time to just get jogging. I'll see you in the shed in a second. There'll be no fancy stuff. It'll just be me chatting to you in a sec. What is up ladies and gentlemen? So we are back on it. We're just doing a really easy, nice and easy. It is freezing as well, by the way, hence the hoodie in the shed. Uh, we're doing a really easy 35. We're not gonna really stress ourselves today at all. We've got a big week coming up. I'm supposed to be resting today. However, and I wanted to make a video and I'm gonna to have to move my rest day from Sunday to today because I have the boys all day on Sunday and getting out for a run is really difficult. So I'm just gonna focus in on us playing and having a laugh and stuff rather than stressing about trying to get up really early and go for a run on Sunday. So I'll have my rest day Sunday and I'll do my week from today. I'll just move the 35 minute run from Saturday to today and then continue my week. We have a session tomorrow, which is gonna be really good. It's seven by two minutes. And then we have a 45 minute run on Thursday and then we have tempo on Thursday. Um, because we've been running, my body should be conditioned enough to keep going. I've got no soreness in my hip because I've obviously been foam rolling the crap out of it and with this weight I obviously have ironed out any um, niggles that I've had just from the sheer force on it um, so I'm going to carry on with this run I'll catch you after once I've finished and I'll be a little bit more sweaty and this place will be a little bit more warm I'm going to carry on with Parks and Rec and I'll see you all in a second all right today is pretty much done we have done a 35 minute run we have worked all day and I feel good my hip is not sore now which is great like I made a joke of in the shed, I think my weight going through it on the little like peanuts and golf balls and stuff has just ironed out any knots or issues that I had there. And um, yeah, I just feel strong. I feel highly motivated right now, obviously. Um, and I can't wait to lose this weight. So as of right now, we are 15 stone. So, well, 15 stone and 1.6. I'm not sure how that works. 1.15.1 stone, I guess it is. Anyway, um, that's how heavy we are. I'm, dri I'm dribbling, which is terrible. So... Yeah, run was strong, Parks and Rec was amazing, I'm just finishing it off. The kids are just about to come in um, from uh, their nanas. So, yeah, it's been a good day, a good first day back. The realisation of being this big is hitting home and it's time to lose the weight and get flowing. Hopefully we can run a fast 5k by the end of the year, like last time, or even a 10k. We do have a marathon to run at some point, um, so whether that's this year or next year, who knows. However... Let's just get daily training in. Let's see where we're at. Let's lose some weight. If you want to join in and follow me, I will put my full training in the description below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.